Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are in the lounge already and uh, we are about to set into our discussions. But before then, and before I even tell you about our topic, let me just tell you this. So you know how much health issues are very important to us as men and uh, in, in, in the Global Media Alliance Group broadcasting company especially, um, there's something that's very important to us, which we do every year. You, sh you know about corporate run, right? Now, there's something else that we add in onto the group, which will be, or which is what we call the health walk. And this is something that is coming from our sister um, station, which is Happy FM. So in collaboration with Farmerline brings you a day of fun and fitness, um, so we bring you a, a day of fun and fitness with farmers and the general public in Accra, Kumasi, Sunyane, and Tamale. You are sure, and you can already tell, that it's the first time that we are going to have something that's happening in four places. A health event that's happening in four places at the same time is very important. And so it's going to be um, this Friday um, from all the locations that I've mentioned. Okay, so it's the Farmers Day Health Walk from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Come join us and let's celebrate farmers. It's very important. We eat, and so we need to eat healthy and also exercise enough to even keep um, the, the good nutrients that the food um, has for us. Now, we're going to have a short discussion on what the day looks like, okay? And this is an initiative, like I said earlier, from the Happy FM uh, group, okay? And so I have with me Kwabina Buafo. He happens to be the co-host on Happy FM for the show in St. P, okay? And so, Kwabina... Hello, Nana. Akwaba. Yeah, yeah. And you see the country case. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Yeah, I hope yeah. all is I've well. Been yeah. You've been around. You've been around. Yeah. Nice one. Nice I've one. Around. Obviously our, our paths never seem to cross because of the, the scheduled times of that course. we show up. Of course. Interesting. Yeah. So Kwabnabuafu is someone you've been hearing. You've had you've heard him several times. If you haven't seen him before, the KB that you usually hear on Happy FM, this is KB. KB once again Akwaba. Thank so, Kibi, tell me, tomorrow you're doing the health walk. Of course. Which is uh, one of the, is it, is it a new thing? I, I suspect it is. I know about the corporate run that's done before. Yeah. But health, this is new. This is new. And this is something I've that you're going to do every year on the farmer's day? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, something we are going to wow. do now. Yeah, so, let's eat the farmer's food and uh, stay healthy. Yeah, yeah we have to. We, we have, have to stay to. healthy. We have to. Interesting. Yeah. So, what is the idea behind the Happy FM Farmer Line Health Walk? Well, Nana, the idea is... Uh, just to celebrate our farmers. Mm. Yeah, they've been uh, doing a lot for us throughout the whole year. Uh, and uh, we think it's, uh, every year we need to celebrate them. As part of that, no, yeah, yes, a uh, uh, health walk that is tomorrow from yeah. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yeah, mm. just to walk and celebrate our farmers. We just want them to know that we appreciate what they've been doing for us. They've been stuffing our kitchens for us. Yeah. Omo Ma, <laughs> 83, common. And yeah, time yeah, yeah, so we <laughs> Well, be home, be home, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Interesting. Uh, yeah, so we, we we just want to celebrate our yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's all yeah. we want to do, yeah. Now, I know say more kwa maybe best one by any be as one more the other and nipa say and I said oh oh not 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 not, not that, that yeah 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 it's near pomo we are just walking and mm. yeah it's near yam pomo but but I see and say we are celebrating our farmers in the country. Yeah, for what they've done for us. So Every basically, year, basically, yeah. Ochina, what is the route? I mean, which routes are going to be taken? Well, tomorrow we are starting from Obras Sports. Obras Sports circle. circle. Yeah, Kwame Kuma, Kofi Dubai, it's in Ibn Mokano. Kofi Dubai. Yeah, Ibn Mokano, Kofi Dubai. Interesting. Yeah, okay. so we are starting from Obras Sports. Yeah. We will walk through the Accra uh, Tenka University. Okay. Uh, Accra Poly. Accra Poly. Near yeah, Befa, mm. uh, Professor Tamil Street. Okay. Yeah, near Koa, Kofema, Kofi, or Accra Sports Stadium. Mm. Yeah, those mm. are the simple routes we are mm. using tomorrow interesting yeah so in, in the stats there's something i found that i found i mean who's a very interesting especially yeah. seeing that there's sunyani and there's is it that it's not happening only in accra i, I yes. want to be sure i want to confirm of i'm not surprised to see that but i want to confirm from ukb yeah it's true it's not happening only in accra really yeah we are here before tamale at the same time here in accra no? it's happening in sunyani mm. and also in kumasi okay yeah so it's uh, accra kumasi tamale and sunyani Mm. Yeah, these are mm. the four, uh, four, uh, three places near the Accra on I four. Yeah, 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 at the same time, and it's more we'll capture the whole country. I mean, in just one, yeah. one event. Yeah, because our farmers are all over the yeah, place all over in the, the country, place. so we need mm. to let them hear that. And and why why sir? And I um to me uh, uh, joining now. Yeah, come on, TV. Well, you're too suffering every Ghanaian. So who share right now? And you know you've eaten before. 
I believe there is no living being our own DJ. Yeah, yeah, so once you are watching us right now, no, yeah, we invite Tinko for a yeah. Ubiya mm. or China holiday. So you can come there and join us do that work just to celebrate our farmers. So we are inviting every everybody body to come. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Open you. And you yeah. bring your time on Kwanda. Once I'll do in Kwanda, so there is somebody who is doing the providing yeah. those things. So yeah, let's we celebrate them. Celebrate them. I agree yeah. with you. I, I totally agree. So what other activities you know do you have? Is it just the the work from six to ten? No, no, beyond no. that, there is something else. Yeah, there are a lot of things we'll be doing. Yeah, uh, yeah, free uh, eye screening. Yeah, yeah, be aerobics. Yeah, be health talk. Yeah, be yeah, be yeah, be doing come on about. Yeah, because I have more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, be cost one thing so free. Yeah, yeah. Fun fitness. Yeah, session. Be cost. Okay. Yeah, that is activities. Be brave. Be cost on the day. So yeah, to answer your flow, be ano be ambra. Now massage, be ba. Massage better than one. Who say you club had the only car exercise? I naturally say you can't get massage. Yeah, massage. Aye. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, professional. So hunting, it does now here be a way. Yeah, any affair. We surely do something for you. Any other yeah. six me, you know? Yeah, six a.m. Pepe, Penny, you know, a few more brass sports. Brass sports. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Tiene nemo through um, technical Accra Technical University. Technical University. Okay, okay. Stadium. 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 Uh, uh, right. Yeah, but it's so simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's so simple. Yeah, start at six to like ten a.m. Now. Uh, simple, so equal more. So equal. Mm. Like you said earlier, yeah, you have yeah. to exercise. Exercise is very important. Once you eat in Kwade, you, you need to need at to least exercise. exercise. All the time. I, I totally yeah. agree with you on that. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, China Kwade farmers, obviously, and yeah. I know say Nuntina, uh, you've been able to uh, institutionalize this, which is going to happen mm. this year and yeah. several other years to come. Yeah. What message do you have for farmers themselves? Well, if the farmers are viewing us right now, they can say, God bless them. We appreciate what they are doing. That is why I had this event we mm. Abba. We just want to uh, tell them to we are celebrating them. We we Yedoma say we thank them for what they've been doing all these years, and we will always acknowledge them in this manner. Say Omo So when you make catch from us and then you man say we really appreciate them and we will celebrate them very well tomorrow. Very well yeah, tomorrow. Very well, well, so that's KB. Mm. KB, you know, if you're somebody who listens to KB, this is just how he sounds today. You've seen the man behind the voice that you've been hearing. He sounds so calm. Yeah. KB is very calm, you Thank know. You. And so, um, for me, mm. as he has said, I totally agree with him that we need to celebrate farmers. And so farmers out there, made it. Ebane, ebane, um, food, uh, na madan o kuya pini. Me inkasi o kuya, o kuya pe fo, pe di ande. Me plim 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 di, e di anga sem ni eka. Sa ane tini. Inti oban sa na madan o kuya pini. Inti, eh, KB, thank you so much. You're welcome. I will be there tomorrow. Yeah. And I hope to see all of you who love to see us in the men's lounge also to be there tomorrow. Once you eat, you need to exercise. You need to exercise. KB, exercise. Thank you very much, Nana. All right, so um, please stay with us. We'll be back shortly with more. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are in the lounge already. And uh, we had a quick discussion concerning tomorrow's event, uh, which is aimed at celebrating the farmers. Join us from the Nkuma Circle or Brass Port exercise with us from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and be part of all the other activities that's going to happen. It's being championed by Happy FM in collaboration with Farmline. Okay. And so please, we would like to see all of you there. So now let's go straight to our discussions. Since time immemorial, the man or the male has been seen to be the father of the home, the provider of the home. I mean, the caretaker of everything in the house. Now, things are changing. The roles are changing. And what we want to discuss today has to do with the changing gender in society, the role of the man. With me to do the discussions today, I have Eustace Akwe. He's a known face, somebody that you always love to see. And then also, I have Sedem Kado. Yes, sir. Today you have to explain where the Kado comes from. <laughs> it's actually my name anyway. It's my middle name. Just the middle name. Yeah. It's so what's the last name? It means Sedem. Uh, it means the gift. The gift. Yes, yes. In French, what is Kado? Is the it not gift. Toffee or something? The gift. No, or it's still gift. it's still yeah. gift, eh? Yeah. Nice one. Good to see you, man. Oh, Toffee is bonbon. Bon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. is this? Yeah. Oh, you can't it. It's connected. connected. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> Charlie guys, so good to see you. How's the week been? It's been okay. Uh, okay. Christmas yeah. come. Oh, yeah. It happened. Yeah. You be on a pocket, go suffer. <laughs> no, but it's actually a very good time for both of us because we are both MCs. So it's, it's one of those <laughs> times of yeah. the year. Oh, you are. Well, yeah. I'm going to give him my bill to pay for what he just did anyway. <laughs> but, guys, if you need MCs for your shows and your programs, there's Eustace. There's Sedem. Don't look elsewhere. Just call them. And 24 hours, you're going to have fun. They are. 
partly comedians as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> they didn't want to say it, but all of course, day, uh, every day, all day, all day. <laughs> anyway, so guys, like I said from the start, traditionally, men are seen to be the caretakers of the home. But you noticed that it's, I don't, let me just say, it's changed. In a lot of homes now, the women or the ladies or the female aspect is more like the, the caretaker, the caregiver, and the breadwinner of the home. Is it that traditionally our rules are changing? Well, uh, traditionally, um, I, I think with, with this particular topic, mm -hmm. uh, for me, I do not have an absolute stand on this. Uh, but I think traditionally, uh, I think our, our roles are, are changing a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, gradually, it depends on where uh, you find yourself anyway. Let's say in our jurisdiction, uh, people are, st we are still struggling with it anyway. But elsewhere, it's sort of almost changed. Yeah, so these days you have uh, women taking a lot of uh, positions that normally they wouldn't have, that have been in yet. Mm. So for instance, at home, these days you don't have just the man being uh, the provider and other things, but these days we have women who are also uh, fighting for that position. So we have these days women also fighting for equal rights and all mm -hmm. of that. So <coughs> yes, it's changing, but... Uh, there are other people who also have a strong standard. A man must be in front all the time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so you admit that it's changing? Yes, I admit it's changing. Let's keep yeah. it personal a little bit for now. How mm -hmm. do you feel about it? How do I feel As about it? As a man, it? how do you feel about it? I'm very comfortable with it. You really? Yes. You're comfortable? comfortable? Yes. The fact that you probably would have to stay home sometimes for the woman to be the breadwinner of the home? Yes, I'm comfortable. You are comfortable? Yes, I am. Interesting. So we'll talk and about that more. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and would a man? Do you think that there can be a time that a man will opt to to be a stay home like a housewife? So this is a house husband for the woman to be. This know, for me. <laughs> yes, is this okay? So um, first of all, tell me how you feel about it. Mm. Yeah, well, the truth of the matter is that uh, that is what it is. That's where we've got into. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, like you said, men have always been the pro providers. I mean, pre-biblical times. And before that, even it's, it's, it's even the same mm. when you look at the animal kingdom. The, the male often goes to bring the prey, mm -hmm. so that's what it's been over the centuries. But we've seen we've seen the world evolve now. When you look at when you look at our environment around us right now, I mean, even in Africa where we are a bit more traditional, a bit more we hang on to primitive uh, practices, it's still changing because now it's not just um, gender equality. Is equity as well, yeah. And the women are as capable just as the men. Mm. Some women, if I, I, I dare say, are even in better positions to provide for their families Very true. than men. So that's the reality of the situation, and we have to accept that that is what it is. I don't think we need to stick to those stereotypes where you say, Oh, you are the woman, so just stay at home and wash, cook. I mean, if things are the other way, and the woman is earning, especially. Now, now, it's not about hunting and going for meat and bringing home. It's about bringing money home. So if the woman is in a better position to, to do that... And is bringing more money home. There's nothing wrong with mm. a role reversal. Mm. I mean, mm. if we talk about equality and equity, everybody has an equal say. Everybody is on yeah. the same pedestal. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, I mean, it has changed and we have to embrace that change. And the earlier we teach our children who are coming up that... I mean, a woman is as good as a man. She can, she can bring in more money. She can do as well as a man can do. The earlier we accept it, the better, because that's what it is. In the West, they are far advanced with those things. Yeah, but yeah. In our part of the world, it's, it's, it's gradually catching on and very, very quickly. And it's, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. But we are still battling with traditions. Oh, of course. I mean, I mean, looking at, I mean, like I said, like our history, our culture, mm. I mean, w even in family setups, we have a Busuya opinion, which is mostly a man. In some few instances, you have a woman who is the head of the family. But most of the time, it's a man, and we've, 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 we've been brought up to think that yeah. that's, that's a position meant for a man. But it's not so, because, like I said, the women are equally capable. And mm. No matter mm. the tradition you hang on to, I mean, dynamism and, and, and forward thinking. Of course, society is, is changing. It's going, to, it's going, to, it's going yeah. to take place. So yeah. there's, there's that evolution, and, and, and we need to accept it. It's not a negative thing. 
Interesting. Well, the, the, the WhatsApp line is open now and it's 020 I repeat, 020 Now, the question here is that as men watching and men listening, would you accept a proposal from a woman? I need you to send me what you think or what your answer will be. And as the women also, would you propose to a man? I'm talking about that point where, you know, the men go down and ask, please marry me. So my question to the men is that, would you accept that proposal from a woman? And the women out there, would you go down on your knees and ask a man to marry you where you are holding the ring ready to put it on the finger of the man? Eustace, would you accept a proposal from a woman? <laughs> yep. Uh, Just the same way the men usually do it. To be honest with you, I see nothing wrong with it. I mm. see nothing wrong with the woman taking her shot. Mm -hmm. First, that a guy I like you. I'm interested. Yeah, no, 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 that's different. I like you. That, that's, that that's extent as, where, that, you know, that point where that's marry me. You, I mean, yeah. But with the marriage proposal, yeah. there's absolutely, I see, it's, 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 there's no, it, there shouldn't be an emphasis really? on who does it. It doesn't matter if a woman, I mean, we are used to the status quo. Men always do it. But what's wrong if a woman does? Think about it. Mm. What, what, what do mm. we stand to lose as a man? What, it's, it's just an ego thing. Mm. And the earlier we get rid of it, the better. A woman can kneel and give, offer you a ring and say, okay, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Would you think about it and be the recipient and respond to it? What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong. I, I won't take offense. I'd, it will be a pleasant surprise to me because it's actually something different from what we are used to. I, I, I wonder why you're smiling. <laughs> no, but, but, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, no, no, I'm but, just but, thinking but, around but, it. But, but it will be a pleasant surprise. It will be, yeah? Uh, yeah, because yeah. She's, she's actually expressing her appetite and mm. her desire yeah. to spend the rest of her life with you. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Men have done it for centuries. Nothing wrong with a woman, that's it. Mm. Mm. Personally, I don't feel, I won't feel offended or I won't feel she's degraded or anything by that. I would accept wholeheartedly I encourage more women, actually, all women who are... Said him. Yeah, yeah. Would you yeah. accept a proposal from a woman? You know, this is something that we've been asking for for so many years. Oh, we've been asking yeah, for we've it? We've been asking for that for so many years. Uh, we always talk about how women should shoot their shot and all of that. So if they are willing to do that now, why not? Mm. Yeah, like like you said, it would be, it would be a great feeling to have a woman... But you know, you know women, a lot of women have that yeah. thought or perception that... Yeah. The moment you're the one to, to, to step forward, it's holiday for the man because then at that point, that's where they take advantage of you. I mean, they, they, a lot of them have these thoughts. No, I, I think it's a, it's a wrong thought anyway. So if you're going to the relationship anyway, I uh -huh. think that uh, it should be two people in a relationship. Said them I know that, but get this. Uh -huh. That point where a man goes on his knees... Mm -hmm. You know, usually they do it in public and mm -hmm. I mean, no, people have all this choreographed mm -hmm. stuff around it. And you say, marry me. And I'm asking you, if a woman did that, holding the ring, mm -hmm. ready to put it on your finger to tell you, please marry me or marry me, would you marry me? Would you accept that proposal? If I'm in calling in love with you, why not? Mm. What is wrong with that? Well, I'm asking you, would you accept it? I will accept that. You will? Yes. You don't see anything wrong with I it? I don't see anything wrong with that. Mm. I rather feel that it's, uh, it's rather the woman showing me how much she loves me. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'll be excited, especially when I'm also having the same feeling towards uh, why hold back when uh, the feeling is mutual. At the, the, at the end of the day, I'm also mm. going to propose to you anyway. So if she decides to do it first, why not? So you see, I mean, at that point, there's no proposition anywhere again from you. Because, I mean, if you had proposed mm. to her, Will she come back to propose to you? No, Obviously so not. Yes. And so I'm asking that at that point where mm -hmm. she goes down mm -hmm. to say that, marry me, would you accept? Yes, I'll accept. Mm. I will. It won't, it won't, it won't, it won't. No, it, will, it will not hurt my ego in any way. It won't? It won't, yes. Wouldn't you rather perhaps have a discussion and say, look, yes, I agree, but let me be the one <laughs> to do it in public. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I mean, no, let me show that I have the mind. Well, well, personally, I, 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 I'm not a fan of the public thing anyway but if, if she goes ahead to do it I, I don't see anything wrong with that mm. i don't see anything wrong with that at all yeah i don't know what you you says things about that anyway. no no i mean i'll Maybe. go to use this for him i have a question <laughs> for him <laughs> i mean so be that you don't have a problem yeah and i know you says this one he will still say yes there's nothing <laughs> wrong with it you think women should pay for dinner when you take them out whoever has more money whoever has more money should pay and I also believe that whoever asks for for the date Mm. Should be able to pay, whether the man or the woman. So if you're asking me out, 
you don't know my budget, so you should be able to pay. Because I'm asking you out. Exactly. What if you, you end up overspending? So if I'm sure, and I can't go on a date without preparing either. Anyway. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll probably go with some money. So if I need to sort you out, we do that. Uh, yeah, but going with an empty pocket uh, for that one, it, it's a no for me. I know you want yeah. to take a bite, but I'll give you this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me hear you on uh, this. No, uh, I mean, would you allow the woman to pay for dinner when you take the woman out? <sighs> no, no, uh, I think this one is another one that uh, I would say is totally subjective. Because uh, if I ask you to go out, that means I'm prepared. Mm. to spend on you, to, to pay for a bill, to, mm -hmm. to let you enjoy a meal and maybe talk things over. Mm -hmm. that, that's my intention. Mm -hmm. So there's a plan, obviously. So if I get there, I, I want to pay. But I do believe that desire comes from both angles. Mm -hmm. There may be a time <coughs> where the lady will want to invite me out on a date. Yeah. And if she insists, I want to spoil you today. It's my turn to pay for dinner for you to have whatever nothing wrong with it hold on let me put it this way so would you like some ladies do would you ask your woman that please take me out <laughs> no i will not personally i mean i will not i'm not but this, this is where we are talking about the changing rules of i mean of yeah I, I wouldn't ask her to take me out because obviously i i'll, I'll, I'll date a woman who mm -hmm. <laughs> who I have a mutual understanding with, who knows the way I flow and I understand the way she flows. If I want to go out, I propose. If she wants to go out, but, but I mean, what's the sense of entitlement when you go to somebody and say, I want take you to me take out. me out? It makes no sense. Absolutely yeah. not. Mm. So yes, <laughs> if I want to take you out, it's my call. I pay for it. But the women do that a lot, if asking that you take them out. So what's wrong with you asking th that's, that they that's take you out? Well... There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm saying from a personal perspective. So, you see, this is where I, I, I find your statement a bit contradicting. Okay. Yeah. So, it is okay. Absolutely nothing wrong with the fact that a woman will propose to you, right? Yeah. Propose marriage to you. Yeah. But it is a problem knowing your status, though, that you would go to a woman to say, take me out. It's not a problem. It's not, I don't think it's a problem. But, but you, you're there, saying there it doesn't are some guys, From a general perspective, there are guys who might say, oh, sweetheart, I want you to take me out today. I feel like being spoiled today. Some people may do that, but you ask me from a personal perspective. <laughs> and from my personal perspective, I, I, just haven't, I'm just, I just haven't been that way mm. throughout my life. So I'm saying that for me, I wouldn't do it, but I, don't, I won't judge anybody else who does it. There's nothing wrong. I mean, yeah. everything goes both ways. It's, it's an equilibrium. So uh, it comes both ways. Once it goes from left to right, obviously, there must be a chance for it to go from right to left. The women are just <laughs> as entitled as the men. Okay. So, so, so let, 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 let's find out why this you know, role changing in gender is happening. Now, th th there's this little research somewhere that tells how men often ignore their women and you know, are kind of character towards the women. Would you say it's part of the reasons why they are also now beginning to act like us or want to be like us? Well, I, I don't think it's necessarily about our character. Uh, I think we are we are all being exposed to a lot of things. If you look at our traditional uh, society, uh, usually women were not that exposed. They were not educated that much. They were not given opportunity to hold positions here and there. But in this dispensation, we have women who have been well educated. So we, we now see their capabilities. We now see the kind of things that they do. Mm -hmm. We now realize that they can, they can even perform far better than uh, what some of the men are doing. Okay. So uh, realizing that why, why, why would you want to sit on, 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 on their, I just said their, their efforts? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to keep them in, in, in the back room? Yeah, so I don't think it's necessarily about uh, women, uh, the, about men being irresponsible. That may be a factor anyway, but... Uh, but I don't think that's an absolute situation. Yeah. Is this? You, you don't think it's because men are becoming too irresponsible, probably ignoring the women too much, and so they want to be like us? No, I don't. I, don't, I really don't think so. Uh, I believe it's just uh, it's just a science of the times. Mm -hmm. and like I said, things have evolved, <coughs> and things are are taking their natural course. So I, I don't necessarily believe it's due to the character of the, of the male species. No, nah, I don't think our characters. Uh, have changed or have mandated the woman to act in a certain way. No, no, I do not. 
I do not agree with that assertion. But again, it's, it's, it's subjective, and I think it, it, it's, it differs based on the part of the world you're coming from. Mm -hmm. In the West, a man and a woman go out and, and they pay the bill 50-50. I mean, I pay half of the bill, you pay half of it, and there's, a, there's an understanding about that, no, no questions asked. But in our part of the world, for instance, I know with a lot of people, with a lot of couples, if you ask a woman to pay half of the bill, there's going to be helter skelter because mm -hmm. of the stereotypes and the way we've been brought up yeah. I mean, over, over the course of time and how we see things. But like I said, things are evolving. People are acquiring more knowledge. People are getting more exposed to the proper way of doing things. And at the end of the day, you go with what's beneficial for both of you, man and woman. Interesting. I, 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 I have something to follow up to ask on that, which is quite funny, but I'll still ask you. But before I do, let me go to this. I'm Gabriel from Bonkataba, so I would be very glad if a woman will come to me and ask me to marry her, please. Yeah. It's not okay. easy for a woman yeah. to go all out, okay? I will be the most okay, happiest man actually. that day. Yeah, Interesting. Um, it would be great that you add your name next time so we can know who... Uh, we are reading from. If you would allow a woman to take up some of your traditional roles as a man, does that mean you will also take up some of the woman's role or does it work only when it's to do with finances and you are benefiting? Women are to support men, not to carry all the man's roles and add to hers. Hmm. The battle is starting already. Well, so the first one was coming from... So, um, good evening, guys. I'm really enjoying the program. I agree with the guy in the African print. Please ask him if he's single. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Eustace, are you single? No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> well, off the market. So then, uh, Eustace uh, is not single. Uh, he just doesn't like to wear uh, his. Yeah, but but I have a I have a, a younger brother who's single. So you have a younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we, we, we kind of look alike. So uh, uh, let's, not go there. Alike let's go on break. Uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are still in the lounge discussing the changing roles of men, okay? Men seem to be behaving... Let, no, let me... Well, I'm using that word advisedly. Men seem to be taking up the roles of the women, and the women are doing most of what men ideally or traditionally we know men to do. And it's something that... Um, the question is, do we find it worrying? What are our thoughts as men on that? And I'm here with Eustace and then Sedem having the discussion and so the the whatsapp lines are open and i've seen a lot of messages coming through already but let me remind you of the number is zero two zero two 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 zero five four i repeat zero two zero two 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 zero five four guys <coughs> so i've been wondering you know in recent times the the whole idea of um male dominance is fading gradually okay and is it what is leading to this whole idea of women wanting to be in charge and some men wanting to be relegated probably to the background to take care of homes or it's just it's just the fact that the world is getting to a point where women are becoming more relevant than men um Traditionally, uh, let me go back again. Traditionally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we all know the, the roles of men and, and how that has defined family setups, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. However, now, w the way the world has evolved, I mean, women having access to education, women having access to all the top positions in, in, in all the various industries and women being key players in the global game, naturally, naturally, it, it looks as if the male dominance is coming out, but there, there never was a male dominance in the first place. Mm -hmm. I think there was just a hindrance or, uh, or barriers and, and limitations afforded women, and they weren't allowed to expre be, express themselves and be the best of, I mean, I feel sorry for the previous generations. But now, in this world right now, in this global digital world where things have evolved, women have a very strong chance at every single thing. Mm -hmm. Biologically, I agree, <coughs> they are not made the same way as men but our brains have the same power mm -hmm. women are able to to go out there and do as much as we can all angles no doubt i have no problem with um, a woman being a breadwinner in the house financially or otherwise uh, whilst the man i mean does some of the house chores i, I look th those those stereotypes and those uh, defined ways of doing things were defined by who it was done in a particular era 
by some particular people, our grandfathers, the man goes to the farm, the woman that what, what's wrong if the woman can't go to the farm? What's wrong if the man can help with household chores, with all those? There's not, it's actually fun. There are activities where you have a man and a woman taking part in washing, yeah. uh, cooking together. It's, it's, it's fun. I mean, the man can take over if the woman is busy with babies, etc., etc. And all these things, we, we have to redefine the way we see our women. They are not, they are not just servants. They are, they are made to help us and, 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 and be our backbone. But it doesn't mean that uh, you have to sit on your high horse the whole time and, uh, yeah, I'm the man, I'm domineering. No, mm -hmm. no, those ego plays have to give way. And the world has carved the way for the women to take their place in society. Say them. You agree with you, states, right? I'm lost on your question a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you yeah. agree with him to the extent yeah. that um, he's almost saying, mm -hmm. he's almost saying that he doesn't agree to that old saying that says that men are the head of the homes and that they have to provide for the home. He doesn't seem to agree with that from all that he has said. Do you side him? Yes, <coughs> I, I, I do side with him. Mm. I do side with him. I, I don't think that we are still in the era where uh, we say the man must be the head of the family. So for that matter, you must do, uh, you must provide everything. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in this dispensation where even the economy is hard and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> being, being, being a sole provider. You can't do it alone. Eh? Yeah, being a sole provider sometimes would be a problem. You understand? Yeah. So if you have a woman who is, who is equally uh, working or pr probably being any more than, more than, than yeah. the man, why? What, what's wrong with a woman helping out? Mm. But what I don't believe <coughs> in is the fact that uh, the woman is capable of providing. So you, the man, you sit back mm -hmm. and then do nothing. Okay. That form of laziness is what I, I, I will not support. At least you should yes. be seen as exactly. making some efforts. Yes. So even mm. if you want to also now become like a house husband, you, you should also be able to do some, so, some sort of work. Bring yeah. something onto the table. It should be uh, both ways. You can't just sit back because now we want to give opportunity to, to the women. So you don't do anything for that one. Uh, I will not go there. Yeah. Th there's something I find quite funny, but I'm mm -hmm. sure I'll, I'll ask that question mm -hmm. when we are getting towards there. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask Eustace to answer that. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> anyway, so with all that we have said, mm -hmm. do, you, do you think it's impacting marriage, or how is it impacting marriages? Well, uh, is it making marriages better, or it's is, it causing, is it part of the reasons why some marriages are failing? How is it impacting marriages? No, I, I, I think that uh, <coughs> for this, it will be uh, is it personal or individual uh, ways, uh, for instance, if, if, if I should say, uh, when you look at some marriages where uh, the woman has opportunity to also bring her thoughts on board, uh, contribute onto the table, I think it, it takes off a bit of pressure from, from the man. So if you're a man and you have a woman who uh, is, 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 is willing to <coughs> support you, is willing to take all those burden off your shoulders. I believe that you want to appreciate it and then show that sort of woman even more love, you understand? Because at the end of the day, if you know, they always say that uh, women, men die early because of stress. So if you have, and <coughs> some of these are because of uh, the financial aspect where the man has to provide all the time. You, when you lose your job, you, you must yeah. make sure that you find something else to do because mm -hmm. the woman is just at home, she's not doing things. Mm -hmm. But if you have the situation where the, uh, the woman is also contributing as much as the man is, it will take that, that form of pressure off you and then you're able to also take care of other things as well. So I believe this uh, situation that we find ourselves in is, if, if you're a man who uh, appreciates this, this should rather help your marriage. This should rather help your marriage rather than uh, you being egoistic and then letting it affect you negatively. Yeah, I see. Is this? Would you? Would you? Would you um, think? Well, before I go there, marriage, we say is fifty-fifty, right? Mm -hmm. Same reference in the past. I don't think was fifty-fifty. It probably meant that men were doing more. Mm -hmm. Now with this switching roles, do you see that we are going to get to a point where women probably will be doing more, or it will still stay fifty-fifty? I don't think uh, <coughs> I don't think there's any fixed rule that it is 50/50 in the first place. Before it was assumed that a man does more. Yeah. Now there's actually the possibility that the woman can do more. Okay. So marriage is a teamwork 
two people come together, of course, with their children. So it's a whole team. It doesn't matter who's striking and who's defending at what particular time. Yeah. It may change. Circumstances, I mean, you always adapt to variable change. It may change, and, and if there's a particular time that the woman has to be the breadwinner for a while due to circumstances beyond anybody's control, why not? If there's a time that uh, the man has to lead, yeah. spearhead, why not? It may, I mean, there are dynamics to life. Yeah. And the earlier we accept that, anything can happen. Yeah. Once you're a team and, 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 and there's productivity, I mean, you guys are pushing each other, standing on each other's shoulders. It doesn't matter who stands on whose shoulder at what particular time. That's my personal belief. So I think w with the, w when, you, when you look at marriage from that perspective, yeah. you know that you, uh, you, you are thinking in a forward direction. Okay. So a woman, I mean, a woman has to do a particular thing, thing uh, this particular activity A in marriage, and a man is relegated to do it in B. In another marriage, it's probably a different setup. And there's nothing, there's no, I always say that there's no status quo, there's no definition, there's no specific guideline. What will work for Kofi and Ama will not work for Kwame yeah. and, and, yeah. and Akos. Yeah. So, so yes, I mean, those, those, those defined and stereotyped ways of thinking should be, I mean, done away with. Maybe it worked for them in their 60s. Maybe in the 18th no, no, century. It seems like it's going to work. It's, yeah. it's not going to work. Considering I mean, how dynamic society has of become, course, right? Of course. Interesting. This is coming from um, um, Eric Hagan. Eric Hagan from Dawenya. Charlie, right now, the women, they rule things. So they occupy top most corporate positions and actually better at it. They are. drive the Velas. You know what the Vela is? Range Rover Vela. That's yeah. the newest one. And yeah. earn the huge salaries. But as a man, you need to be responsive regardless of how wealthy your woman is. Yeah. Her contribution should be seen as a support. Well, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric, so much for um, your contribution. So at this point, the phone line is open. I'm, I'm changing the phone line today, and it's 0547-844-353. 0547-844-353. Let me repeat for the last time. 0547-844-353. Call us. Share your thoughts. Let's hear from you. Let's know what you think. Would you accept a proposal from a woman, just as the men usually go down their knees and uh, propose to the woman? Would you accept if, if you're a man and a woman does that? This is coming from Kojo. Kojo is, is texting us from... Okay, so Kojo from Kaswa says that, of course, why not? It's the same rank. <laughs> well, so... Kojo says, of course, why not? It's the same rank. It's no different. So why, he would just accept it. And uh, this is also coming from... Okay, so Sule, Sule says, Sule is um, from Newtown. Sule says that it does not make sense that a man would accept a proposal from a woman, especially to say, I want to marry you, and has to carry all the responsibilities. Well, Sule, I'm, I'm not sure Eustace is happy to hear this, but of course, uh, it's your opinion, and we appreciate that you have shared that with us. So, let's, let's come back. I did ask from, from at a point that, do you think you will get to a, a, a time where women would have a much bigger share when it comes to marriage? But of course, you said there's even nothing like 50-50 already. It's a matter of who, who can do more, should do more, if, if, if I get you correctly. So, Sedem, I've been thinking around this, knowing what's been happening around mm -hmm. Do you think some of these things are the reasons why there is some discussions around LGBT or it probably has nothing at all to do? I mean, <laughs> seeing that women are beginning to be more powerful, they probably think they wouldn't have to start looking like men to be able to be powerful. Or seeing that, um, or, 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 or women or men think that, look, women are becoming powerful. Maybe we should begin to look like <laughs> them. I mean, do you think it probably is a country? I mean, it's just by the way, anyway. <laughs> you want to cause trouble. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I, I mean, just tell me what you I think, though. Sincerely, I don't think uh, this has anything to do with mm. the LGBTQ uh, community or the it is. Uh, sorry. Um, well, uh, if, if women want to... Or oh, if we are given opportunity to women to um, to be in charge, I, I don't think that uh, it's it's a case for any other person to 
also one two five four. Well, Charlie, because this, this, this particular, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was <particular. laughs> <laughs> uh, Before that, I want to <laughs> Sule said something. Yeah. That, I mean, uh, it doesn't make said, sense. I mean, it doesn't. doesn't, doesn't yes, Sule said it doesn't sense. make sense. Yeah. I, I want to tell Sule if he's watching still that accepting a proposal from a woman, whoever does the proposing, it, it it's in no way. It, there's no correlation. It doesn't mean that the person proposing is taking up all the responsibility. Okay. It has nothing to do with responsibility. It's about who, whoever is ex expressing their desire first, primarily, that I want to be with you. Obviously, both of you, because you're going to say yes, both of you are feeling the same way. It's about, just about who's declaring it. It has nothing to do with responsibilities. It doesn't, when you, you are five years into the marriage, you say, oh, you came to propose to me, so now you wash the dishes. Nothing like that nothing like let's let's be very realistic i mean we need a we need a mind shift we need a whole paradigm shift on these things and i'm sure it will take a few generations yeah. to for for our men to to totally accept that the women are as good as us and they can do exactly what we do i mean i, I believe you will get it's only until a point where we feel our, our egos are not being bruised by all these oh thoughts. yeah I mean, if, if not i i wonder when and how it's it's gonna happen anyway. Uh, the phone lines are open, like I said earlier. It's 0547 Call us and share your thoughts with us and keep the messages also coming. So let me let me find out this. In marriage, I said, man, do you think you know how women feel like Charlie, our husband money sweet more than our money? Would a man also have that thought that actually our wife's money sweets pass <laughs> out? It's not in our DNA, to be honest with you. It's not in our DNA to feel that way. Uh, but uh, the women do feel that way, and they are the receiving end of the benefits there. So you can't really fault them for feeling that way. So, and as a man, you know, most of the time we are we are we are run by our egos, and our egos are we are very egoistic about certain things. So. I think that apart from a few opportunists, I think there are not many men who would who would say that my wife's money or my girlfriend's money is sweeter than mine or <laughs> whatever it is. I mean, primarily Charlie, when you're a man, Charlie, the hustle is real. So you are always on the move. I mean, once like Sadam said earlier, that once you're not lazy and you're pushing to your maximum, doing the best of your abilities, I mean <laughs> I mean it's acceptable. I mean, we've we mentioned ego, ego, ego a few times. How, how does it come to re, uh, play in, in this changing or switching roles? Well, uh, I believe that there are some people who, uh, who are still holding on to uh, the traditional ways of thinking, mm -hmm. where they feel that as a man you must provide all the time. So if they have a woman who is any more than them, for instance, mm -hmm. then they feel they are less of a man. But uh, I don't think that that's something positive to hold on to. Uh, it makes no difference. At the end of the day, you are all uh, partners in, in the same team anyway. So why, why feel less of a person just because the other person is able to bring more to the table? You should rather also hustle more to get to her level, if, if that's what will make you uh, happy. So hustle and get, get to her level. Or give her the opportunity to, to spoil the two of you. So mm. I don't think mm. ego should play a factor. Give her the opportunity to spoil the two of you. Eustace, will you take a final bite on this? Uh, I think I'm in uh, total agreement with Sedam on this one. I mean, mm. uh, so we, we should find a way to arrest our egos. Eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, eventually, we have to find a way to tone down our uh, mm. egoistic demands or feelings or whatever it is that we call. Because once we are allowing the woman to have a, f a fair bite of mm -hmm. the apple, we must understand that that means that giving up certain responsibilities, allowing them to move in. It doesn't mean that you've lost your place as the head or of the home or whatever. I think that figurehead thing is what's in our mind and yeah. it's, it's what limits the woman and prevents them from being the best yeah. of who they can be. Yeah. So eventually, yeah, we will have to tone down our ego. As, I mean, times will naturally force us to evolve and, and tone down our ego. So yeah, it will happen. <laughs> All right, so let's allow the women to take a bite of the apple. Look, the fact is that they even they were first to buy the apple. So, so yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's all time could allow us. Uh, we are thankful for you being part of our evening. Thank you, Eastis. Thank you, Sadam, for passing through the lounge. And um, thanks to also Take Batteries for supporting um, our show. Tomorrow, meet us at Circle.
is very important. After eating, all from January you've been eating to today, let's go and exercise tomorrow. We'll come back your way next week with another exciting episode of the Men's Lounge. Please stay safe. We are in face masks. Ciao.